Hi guys, in this video tutorial, I'll explain how to connect the Aerosloop Studio, the Beat Buddy, and the MIDI Maestro together via MIDI. This is a powerful way to connect all of our pedals so they work together seamlessly. We'll show you the types of cables you'll need and how to connect them together. For this video, we'll be demonstrating the Eros as the MIDI slave and the Beat Buddy as the MIDI master clock and the MIDI Maestro as the master MIDI controller for both devices. This means that the Beat Buddy will control the arrows and the MIDI Maestro will control the Beat Buddy and the arrows. First, you'll need the Beat Buddy MIDI breakout cable and two standard five pin MIDI cables. We'll include the links for these cables in the description of this video. To connect the Beat Buddy and the Eros, plug the first 5-pin MIDI cable in the out port of the Beat Buddy MIDI breakout cable, and then into the in port on the Eros Loop Studio. The Eros has a built-in plug-and-play experience once you connect these two cables. Please make sure that your Beat Buddy has the latest firmware installed on it, at least firmware 3.8 or later. We'll include a video link in the description on how to update your Beat Buddy and a link to the latest firmware. You can verify that the Beat Buddy and the Eros are working together by starting a new quantized song and changing the tempo on the Beat Buddy. You'll see the tempo change in both pedals as well as the grid on the Eros touchscreen. The grid will expand when the tempo gets slower and gets smaller when the tempo gets faster. The time signature information is only sent when you first load a Beat Buddy song. Please note the song on the arrows has to be empty to change the tempo or time signature. If there are any recordings in the song, changing the tempo or time signature won't work. You can clear a song of all recordings by holding down the play stop all button while the arrows is stopped. Then you will be able to change the tempo and the time signature. To connect the Beat Buddy and the MIDI Maestro, plug the second five pin MIDI cable into the in port on the Beat Buddy MIDI breakout cable and into the out port on the MIDI Maestro. This way, the MIDI Maestro will send MIDI commands to both pedals. This is a very powerful setup because it will allow you to execute additional functions. For example, double time, half time, song part selection, more accent hits, all with using the Beat Buddy mode on the MIDI Maestro. We have a video link in the description which shows all the things you can do with your MIDI Maestro and your Beat Buddy. I hope you found this information useful. If you still have any questions about your setup, please email us at support at singularsound.com and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for tuning in and keep rocking.